Did y'all pick up on the fact that St. Paul was upset in that first reading? <laughs> he says, I mean, he is really upset. He says, you stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you? Are you so stupid to start with the flesh and end up with, I mean, start with the spirit and end up with the flesh? I mean, he's really railing on them and he's blasting them. So what's going on? Who are the Galatians and what have they done? And so if you, if you go up to what's modern day Turkey and you drew a north-south line through it that divided it into two and then it expanded that line 100 miles either direction, that was the area where the Galatians were. And there was, a, it was, there was comprised of Jews and Gentiles, so Greeks, pagans, as well as Jews. And that was the influence in that region of Galatia. And um, St. Paul in scripture is recorded as doing three missionary journeys. Okay, and each journey takes like a couple of years because he's going and he's establishing churches. And all three missionary journeys, he goes through Galatia. He hits those, those towns of Derby, Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch. And those probably ring bells with you, probably sound familiar because that's where he established churches. And so he establishes churches. He goes up and he builds the, the churches. He sees what their needs are. And so in, in today's reading, Paul is in Ephesus, so 350 miles further east, still in Turkey, but on the, on the western edge of Turkey. And he gets word back that the Galatians have made a grave error. They're, they've gone back to think that they are their salvation comes from following the Mosaic laws, from doing the works of the Mosaic laws. And what is that? That's, you know, circumcision, washing your hands and kettles and pots a certain way, going to certain uh, feast days, and that's the Mosaic law. And uh, Paul's upset about that. Paul's made it, I mean, the foundation of uh, how we're saved that Paul believes in and taught and spread is not that we're saved by you know, following Mosaic law or, wor or the works of the Mosaic law, we're saved because of our faith. We're saved because of the Holy Spirit very specifically and the graces that come through the Holy Spirit that make us holy. And that's how we're saved. And this gift of the Holy Spirit is freely given to us. If we have faith and we pray, we're given the Holy Spirit. It's easy. I mean, you think about it. We get it at baptism, we get a confirmation. If we just pray and ask for the Holy Spirit, God will give it to us. And that's the message in the gospel, that God will give us the Holy Spirit if we just ask. You know, seek and you will find. Uh, and so there's, in the gospel, there's this parable about this guy who's got friends that have dropped in at midnight, and so he needs something to give him. So he goes to, to uh, his buddy that has bread and so he asked him for three loaves of bread well the meaning of that is the guy that has the bread his buddy is god and the bread is the holy spirit and what he's asking for is the holy spirit and he says whether he gives it to you out of friendship or persistence he's going to give it to you you're going to get the holy spirit because you of our faith or our persistence in asking for it and then he has the, those little things where uh, if a father Ask, his son asks a father for uh, uh, a fish, and he wouldn't give him a snake. Or if he asked for an uh, um, uh, egg, he wouldn't give him a scorpion. In other words, the fish or the egg represent the Holy Spirit. And if we go to God, who's, you know, if we know what to give good to our children, God even more knows what to good, give us that's good, he will give us the Holy Spirit. And, uh, you know, at, at the end of the gospel, it says, you know, it says, ask and receive, as the Father in heaven will give you the Holy Spirit to those who ask him. Now, we can fall into the same trap as the Galatians. We can think that our salvation is earned based on our merits. And that's not true. We can't do it on our own. We can't construct our own holiness. We can't, only God is holy. We can't make ourselves holy. It's God that makes us holy. God makes us holy through the gift of the Holy Spirit, through the graces that the Holy Spirit give us, that make us like God, okay? And so we can't do it on our own. So we don't want to fall in the same traps as them, as the Galatians did, 
okay? We don't want St. Paul getting upset with us like he did with the Galatians. And uh, so today, we need to open up our hearts. We need to ask God in faith to send us the Holy Spirit so we can be made holy and so we can one day be with him in heaven. Amen.